Eh. What? <laughs> it's so stupid. Hello, welcome to Learning Curves. I'm Anastasia, and today I'm going to talk to you about five things I've learned are not vegetarian. My hands are weird. Fits though, right? I mean, like, anyway. Who loves trivia? Or a uh, shorter answered question, who doesn't love trivia? I have taken trivia far too seriously in my life. My husband and I know that if we play Trivial Pursuit, we're going to get into a fight. Unless I'm winning. <laughs> if I win, then it's okay. Which is not okay. <laughs> but I love trivia. And there are a lot of bits of information that I think are cool that I've collected over the years and hope to continue collecting. So I'm going to share some of those things with you in a new series on this channel, my first series on this channel, called Five Things. And I'm gonna share five things on a topic with you, five bits of trivia on a topic. And today I'm gonna be talking about five things I've learned. Oh, I'm gonna do this a lot, so I hope you get used to it. My weird hands. Five things I've learned are not vegetarian. You know what is vegetarian? Me. And has two thumbs. I did it backwards, I didn't do it right. If you are vegetarian or vegan, you may have also experienced that there are a lot of foods that hide it, that sneak it in there. Animal products. And we don't know about it until it's too late and you've been consuming these things for however long. I have someone who's very dear to me who's vegan and I remember talking to her one time when I found out that's something I'm actually not going to talk about in this list. So it's a bonus one. Granulated sugar, I've heard that it's refined with fish bone char. My rule is if you had to kill it to get it, I don't want it. And you had to kill the fish to get the bones to refine the sugar. So I don't want that refined sugar. We worked together. I remember going to her office and being like, <laughs> I just found out that sugar is not vegetarian. I mean, do I have to start all over? Can it even, does it count? To the however many years beforehand that I've been a vegetarian count? And she was like, I've had to have so many of these conversations with myself. You just gotta come to peace with it. You don't know what you don't know. I mean, for like life, right? You can just, you do the best you can and you let go of the rest, right? <laughs> so I wanted to share with you five things that I've learned are not vegetarian. Some of these, if you're not familiar, might hurt if you're vegetarian. If you're not vegetarian, you're not gonna care, but hopefully it will help you if you are preparing food for someone you care about who is vegetarian, and you can maybe not put these things in it. So let's get started. Number one, and this is gonna be the hardest to say. Not the hardest to hear, but the hardest to say. I actually saw, you know, one of those letter boards on Pinterest that said, some things are hard to say, like, I'm sorry, and Worcestershire sauce. No one knows how to say it. My husband knows how to say it. But Worcestershire, that, but I'm gonna lump together with that Caesar dressing. Both of those have anchovies in them. You can totally find Caesar dressings that do not. You can totally find Worcestershire sauce that does not. For the Worcestershire sauce, there are brands like Annie's brand that has vegan versions, but then there are also some store brands that I think maybe make it without because it's cheaper. If you read the label, it will clearly say anchovies, anchovy paste. If you go to a nice restaurant to get a Caesar salad, they're almost definitely going to make it the classic way, which is with anchovies. I actually did, I tried to do a little research this video for you guys to fact check myself. And I found a, a number of recipes for Caesar dressing and there were some that used Worcestershire sauce in the dressing. So there was still anchovies in it, but it's because it was in the sauce, not because the ingredient itself was natively within the dressing. So that one wasn't too bad, right? Number two, this one's kind of a pain. Pills, <laughs> medicine, encapsulated medicine, whether they are gel coated, but more commonly the encapsulated pills are not vegetarian. It's gelatin on the outside. I don't know exactly what gelatin is. I believe it is a bone or hoof part. You can totally find vegetarian versions. It is something you have to seek out. It is more expensive to manufacture. So that's not that bad either, right? We're like easing in. I mean, if you're in pain, then it's terrible, but there are versions that are vegetarian. You ready for some more? Because number three is marshmallows, also made of gelatin. And really we can bunch a lot into this group. I wanted to keep medicine separate, but as far as foods that have gelatin in them, there's marshmallows, there's 
a lot of pop tarts, a lot of candies, um, Starburst, well, Jello, of course. <laughs> Interestingly enough, jelly, a lot of jellies are thickened by pectin from the fruits and don't necessarily have gelatin in them. I mean, the moral of the story in all of this is going to be read labels, but especially if it is chewy, gummy, gelatinous, read your labels. I do remember having a Muslim friend in college. We had Starburst. She called the number on the back, the call for questions or comments number, and asked them if it was beef or pork gelatin because she's Muslim and she doesn't eat pork. She doesn't eat pig products. And I thought that was cool. I don't know. I learned a lot. As far as marshmallows, I know Trader Joe's marshmallows, both the minis and the bigs are vegan because if it doesn't have the gelatin, then there are no animal products in it. I had a brand recently that I really enjoyed, but I believe it was called Dandies. It was really delicious. Actually, a pregnancy treat of mine has been to kind of open up a marshmallow and put inside of it one little bit of a Hershey's bar or, um, Trader Joe's has these dark chocolate covered caramels. It's not right how delicious they are, but I take a bite of that and I take a bite of marshmallow and then I take a bite of that and then I take a bite of marshmallow and I'm pregnant. I, that's not how I got pregnant. What? But again, let's read our labels for all the reasons, all the reasons. This one's gonna hurt a little bit for some of you. And some of you aren't gonna care. I care a lot about this group, and that is cheese. Yeah, cheese. Cheese that you think is, it's milk, right? It's just milk. No. Most cheeses are made using rennet, which is, I believe, an enzyme from the stomach lining of a cow that is young enough to be consuming its mother's milk. There are some cheeses that are made with either plant-based rennet or microbial rennet. Microbial gets a little fuzzy because I believe GMO rennet, technically the genetically modified piece comes from traditional animal rennet. So it's not maybe vegetarian, but if you can find non-GMO microbial rennet, it, then I think you're safe if you're a vegetarian and if you even care. There are some cheeses that do not use rennet, like the Indian cheese paneer or ricotta, but if a cheese does use rennet, it's most likely not vegetarian. A lot of cheeses will just say rennet on them or enzymes. Trader Joe's is pretty good about labeling their cheeses to let you know what type of rennet is in it. I'm a big Trader Joe's fan, you're gonna learn that about me. They have a lot of cheese options that are really stand out delicious. I would be happy to share some of the gems I've learned live at Trader Joe's if you're interested. I would be so happy to do that. Let me know if that's something you'd like. And number five, this one will also hurt pretty badly for some, but some of you won't care. And right now I don't particularly care because I can't imbibe anyway. And that's alcohol. I mean, there are some mixed drinks that have animal products in them. You have to be careful with Bloody Marys because those have Worcestershire sauce. And sometimes people will get fancy by putting bacon in them or, you know, other things that are not vegetarian. I've seen pepperoni on Bloody Marys. Why? Just Bloody Marys that I'm really thinking of. But there are alcohols themselves that during their creation, that during the process of their making, there are animal products that are used that are not vegetarian. Most famously, Guinness just changed some of their clarification processes. I think they used to use an ingredient that came from, I think like a dried fish bladder or something to that effect. I think it's stouts most commonly that are not vegetarian. There's a great resource out there to help us navigate this tricky one since you may have noticed a lot of bottles of alcohol, be they beer or wine or liquor, don't say a lot of ingredients on there. <laughs> but there's a website called Barnivore, I'll link that below. If you, you just look up whatever the alcohol is and they will tell you if it's vegan or vegetarian. Handy dandy. Just gets to be a problem if you've had enough that you don't remember how to work the internet. In which case you probably shouldn't just have any more anyway, right? <laughs> so those were five things I've learned are not vegetarian. While there are some who feel that a vegetarian diet is already really restrictive, I have had so many people say, you're vegetarian, well, what do you eat? <laughs> to which I wanna say, all of the other things, all of the other things. <laughs> Granted, clearly from this list, we know that not everything is as obviously not vegetarian as a chicken breast <laughs> or a piece of steak because there really are 
so many beautiful plants out in the world. I do try and eat mostly plant-based, but vegan is not a limit that I put on myself. I'll probably make a video at some point about what I've learned about myself and my dietary interests in being vegetarian. But yeah, I do love plants. I love how good it feels to eat them, how delicious they are, and I'd be happy to do a video if you're interested about all of the wonderful plant things that there are and what my diet does consist of often. I hope you found this interesting. If you have other topics you'd like to learn five things about, maybe a list of five things you might be surprised are vegan, low-key vegan, please feel free to add them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. Please like the video. I cannot tell you how much those things really help me and mean to me while I'm pregnant and about to go undergo a home renovation and working full-time, sometimes 50 to 60 hours a week, and also doing this and being a mom. It's a lot and I can't tell you how much I value the feedback that I get on these videos. So if you have given me feedback on any of the other videos, thank you so, so much. I really sincerely appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye times 10. Hey, five, 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 five. I gotta cool it on the fives, right? Right? I don't know, is it funny? It's weird, it's too much. Okay, it's too much. I'll see you in the next video of five things. But I'll also see you in videos before then, because this isn't just going to turn into a five things channel. Crack it. Like, oh, did you hear that one? That was intense. That was intense. Must have been camping, because that was intense. I just can't make a video without being weird, right? I mean, like, that's who I am.